Hello, friends. We have a challenging kettlebell that we'll all do together. It's a real-time workout. I did it in my backyard a few weeks ago, and I was like, that was really hard, but I want to do it again, and I want to share it because it was kind of a fun, cool setup. So we have a warm-up circuit. We have a heavy exercise, and then we have a... Um, kind of ladder, ascending and descending ladder with two different exercises that we'll do twice through. So it's a tough one, it's a doozy. You will need two kettlebells. One of them will be 30-ish pounds, 25 to 30 pounds. The other one will be heavier if you have it. Um, I could use my 45 pound, but I'm gonna try to use my 75 pounder for the heavy exercise. Um, grab what you need. Like I said, I'll do the whole workout with you. Let me know if you like me doing the whole workout with you like this, or if you like little snapshot just of me giving you the exercises and the reps, but not doing the whole thing with you. Cause I've done both. I like both. So let me know. Um, put on your own music. I won't play anything and we'll go through the exercises. Okay, our warm up circuit has three different exercises and we'll do three sets of everything. So the first, it's all gonna be with your lighter weight. So 25 to 30 pounds. We're gonna do a 90 90 hip drive. So you'll have the bell kind of held up towards your chest. Um, your knees will be pointed out in front of you. Your heels are drawing in towards your body. Um, this is kind of like a dare, deer stance, but you could have them stretch out to like 90 degrees if you wanted. Whatever's comfortable for you. But bring the bell up to chest. You're gonna drive forward, so kind of balancing on your shins, engaging your glutes, sit back down, knees come up through center, and then drop to the other side, okay? Drive the hips forward, lower back down. Knees come up through center, keep going. So we're doing five on each side, 10 total. The second move, is a bear to plank walkout with a row. So have the bell on one side and we'll start in a plank pose. Then you'll step the right foot in, the left foot in. So you're in this bear stance. Your knees are hovering. Your knees and your hips are at 90 degrees. And then balance on the left hand, row that right arm up. So the elbow's coming up to the shoulder or to the hip it's gonna be a short range of motion. It's not gonna be the full row because we're already like in this lockdown position, okay? So do the row, let it back down, and then take a lateral step in this bear position. So we step over to the right, and now the bell's on our left side. Out to a plank pose, and then step into bear, left foot in, right foot in, balance on the right hand, give it a row with the left arm, okay? Horizontal step, plank, bear, row, horizontal step. Um, we'll do five on each side. And then the third move in our warm up is a reverse lunge with a twist. So we're gonna have that bell kind of at chest height again. So stand on up, reverse lunge, so step that right foot back, hang out in this lunge position, and then twist to the left, to the right, come forward. We're gonna do all 10 on one leg before switching to the other. So then the left side would look like this. Nice and slow on the twist. 10 on each leg. And then, so three rounds of that. Five of the hip drives, well 10 total. 10 total of the rows, and then 20 total of the lunges with twists, because 10 on each leg. Now our heavy exercise is gonna be a pulse RDL, three sets of eight. I think, let me see what I wrote. Yes, three sets of eight. So I'm gonna use my 75 pounder. Feet straddle the bell. Hinge at your hips, slight bend in the knees. Chest is out, back is strong. So start by standing. And then the bell is gonna kinda of trace down your shins until you get into this good hip hinge. Take one pulse and then stand up all the way. Hinge at the hips, drive them back, take one pulse, and then stand all the way up. Three sets of eight reps of that. Okay, the second or last part of the workout is one that I don't want to repeat, but I will because it's really good. It's just hard. It's like shoulder massacre, but so good. 
Um, it's a ascending and descending ladder of two different exercises. It's complicated to explain, but I will try. Um, the first exercise, let me just show you, is a single arm swing, clean, and press. So with the lighter of the weights, swing, clean, and press, okay? The second exercise is a kneeling, um, kneeling up, down, step down with the overhead hold. So with the arm overhead, we kneel down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. What this looks like is first, you're gonna do five reps of the swing, clean, and press, and only one rep of this, and switch sides. Do the five of the swing, clean, and press, one rep of the kneeling, step down. Then we're gonna go up and down the ladder. So you do four reps of the swing, clean, and press, and two reps of the kneeling overhead hold, and then do the other side. Then we do three and three, then it gets to the point where we only do two of the swing, clean, and press, and one of the kneeling step down and up, and then we do five, like one and five, and then do it on the other side. Take a hefty rest break. Um, we're gonna try to do that whole thing without resting. It's really hard, but you do have the rest of switching sides. Um, but after that, we'll take a really long break. This is complicated. And then we do the same thing, but just switching the order. So first we do five reps of the overhead kneeling and only one rep of the swing, clean, and press. Four reps over the kneeling, two reps of the swing, clean, and press, etc. until we meet back on the other side. So like two chunks of that exercise. It's tough. Your shoulders are going to be challenged. Um... Yes, we'll do the workout together, dreading it, but also loved it, that sort of thing. Get your music, get your water, and we'll get started. Okay, let's do our warm up. So grab your lighter weight. We're gonna do 10 reps of our 90-90 hip drive. So bring the belt up to your chest, knees pointing out to the left, and then extend your hips forward. Sit back down, legs switch to the other side, drive the hips forward, okay? That was two, we have 10 reps total. Getting into some hip mobility and some glute activation, core work, shoulder stabilizing work. I think our shoulders are just going to be demolished. It's lovely. This is six. Now intensity isn't really high on this warm up. Just want you to do mindful movement. Getting into your body. If you want to do this without weight, totally fine. Good. Okay. Bell goes down. We're going to do 10 of our plank to bear um, with the row. Couldn't think of the word. All right. So let's have the bell on the right side of our body. Actually, yeah, just kind of have it in the middle and then go to the left of it. Start out in the plank pose and then step right in, left in, row with the right arm. Let it back down, take a step over to the right side, and then walk out to your plank, walk into your bear, plant the right hand, row with the left, walk over to the left, step it out to plank, step into bear, row with the right arm, go over to the right, out to plank, into bear, Row with the left. That was four reps. We have six more. Over to the left. Plank. Bear. Row. Lateral step. Plank. Bear. Row. Lateral step. Two more on each side. Keep going at your own pace. One more on each side. Good. Again, always option to do that without weight. For the row portion, you would just bring your arm up. Still kind of activating the back of your shoulder, but whatever you want to do. Okay. We have 10 on each leg of our reverse 
and goblet lunge with the twist. So we'll plant the left foot at the top. We'll do 10 reps with the right leg and then we'll switch sides. Take a little breather. I think I'm just out of breath. Well, cause things are hard, but I'm also talking and that's harder. Give me some grace. Okay. Hold the bell up. Step back with the right leg. Slow and controlled on the twist. So it's kind of a warm up, but it's more like a activation control warm up. Drive through that left heel, engage the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, the core, shoulders. Okay, halfway done. Three more on this side. Last one, I think. I lose track when I talk. Good. Give your arms a break. I'll switch them out. I'll face the camera so you can see what it looks like. Oh, we're breathing. Hmm. All right, right foot plants. Bring the bell up. Lunge back with the left leg. Twist side to the side and then set back up. 10 reps total. Job. Two more quads are working. Good. All right. Take a little rest that was one set. So it's like definitely more substantial than a warm up. I recognize that, but oh. Okay, set number two. We have our 99 hip drives. If you want, you can switch which leg goes first. Doesn't really matter. Five on each side. I'm gonna actually do without weight or maybe lighter weight because I did heavy shoulders yesterday. So, or two days ago. I'm gonna save my shoulders just a little bit for that main set. So I'm gonna use a lighter weight, but the first time I did everything with 30 pounds, it was perfect because I was rested for a few days and had a lot of energy. I'm just feeling a little, a little sore today. So, okay, 10 reps. Five, halfway done. work. Perfect. Okay. Bell goes in the middle. You hang out on the left side of it this time. We're going to do our plank bear with the row. So start in plank pose. Get ready. And then step into bear, bear, row. And then walk over to the right side. Step out plank, plank. Step in, bear, bear, row. And then walk to the other side. Okay, walk out to plank, walk into bear, row that bow with the right arm, 
step over to the right, walk out to plank, walk into bear, row with the left arm, walk over to the left. We have six more. Nice and steady with your core, keep your back flat. We have four. Wait, did I already say four more? I don't know. This will be, I think, eight. Let's do two more. Y'all, I'm the worst at counting. I do apologize. Okay, final one. Beautiful. Shake them out. Mm, stand up. And we will do our lunges. All right, left foot plants. Bring the belt up. Reverse lunge with the right leg. Twist, twist, stand up. Okay, 10 on this side. Woohoo, get your balance. Switch them out. Shake out your arms. Honestly, I didn't mean to use lighter weight on this, but maybe the third round will go heavier again. Slip my mind. All right, right foot plants. Bell at the chest. Reverse lunge with the left leg. Twist right, left. Stand back up. Four more, doing good. Woo! Two more. Beautiful, nice work. All right, one more round of that warm up. Or we'll just call it the First circuit. All right, we have our 90 90 hip drive. Heels are curled in towards your body. Knees pointing over to the left. Bell or no bell. Medium bell or light bell, whatever you choose. Drive your hips forward. Sit back down, bring knees in towards body, drop them to the right, and then extend your hips. We have 10 reps total, eight more. Two more on each side, over to the left. Over to the right. Last one. Perfect. Come back down. The bell goes in the middle. You're on the right side of it. Hop up into a plank. And step into bear. Row with the left arm. Lateral bear step over to the left. Walk out to plank, walk into bear, 
right arm row, step over to the right, walk out to plank, walk into bear, left arm row, step over to the left, good, this is number four, you have six more, I'm going to count great this time, this is five, so we never get jilted of reps, we also overdo it. Who wants to overdo it? Four more. Perfect. Finish that last one. Doing so good. Stand up. Reverse lunge with a twist. Okay, right foot in, no, left foot in front. Right foot lunges back. Twist, twist, stand. When you twist, try to have your pelvis nice and neutral. So you're mostly twisting from the upper body. See how my hip pointers are staying forward the whole time. And there's another type of lunge where we would let the hips move with us. That's great too, but just for this specific one. Halfway down on that leg. One. Two, three more. Perfect. Let her down. Tap out your booty. Switch sides. Right foot in front. Bell at chest center. Step back with the left leg. So good staying in that lunge, working on your stability halfway, five left. Two more, it's burning. Perfect. Whip off, take a sip. First circuit is done. So good. Everything is very, very activated and warmed up. Next, grab your heavy weight. So 45 would work. I'm gonna try the 75 for a little bit. It's gonna be fun. We have another minute to rest. So we're moving into three by eight single or pulse RDL. If there's a theme to this workout, it's shoulders and hips, shoulders and glutes. Two good things to work on. But of course everything is working. Got the rows for the back body, tons of quad work as well. Tons of core, that's a huge thing as well. So it's hard to theme these because everything's working hard. Okay, one more sip. Find your stance, bell in the middle. Eight reps of a pulse RDL. Overhand grip, wipe your hands. First start by standing up. And then we'll get into it. Hinge at the hips, slight bend in the knees. Bell traces down your shins. One pulse at the bottom, and then stand up. That's one. Two. 
three, four. Make them quality, make them slow. Three more. I really feel those glutes engaging on that pulse. Two more. Back body's working. Good work. Slowly rest it down. Obviously, if you have a heavier weight and want to do six reps, great. If you have a lighter weight and want to do more 10, 12, perfect option as well. Work with what you have, but this should be the heaviest part of this workout. If you don't have heavy weight, go really slow, really, really slow. And maybe add an extra pulse. Tons of ways to modify. Okay, um, let's rest another 30 seconds or so. Change your song. Something to pump you up. Three more breaths. All right, bell goes in the middle, feet on the outside. Overhand grip, start by standing up first. Lock your shoulders down the back of your body. Hinge at your hips, kind of slides down to the mid shin, towards the ankles, pulse. Stand, seven more reps. Grip is getting tired. Two more. Use your glutes to drive you up. And hamstrings. Last one. So good. Shake it out. so rest whenever you need to recover feel free to pause the video if you need longer start to mosey on over my grip is so pathetic. It's what it gives out first. I'm not sure what that's from. I work on it tons with deadlifts and pull-ups and carries and everything. I don't know why. My hands are just, they're kind of tiny and pathetic and they always are my like limiting factor. I don't know. Here we are. Okay, take three more breaths. So if you see me readjusting, that's why. <sighs> Last set here of these. Make it strong and intentional. So start by standing up. Eight reps, here we go. Slow lower down, pulse, drive back up. Two more. Make it a good one. Woohoo! Good job, guys. My camera only records 30 minutes, so I'm gonna pause it and restart, and we'll do our final ladder together. It's happening. Last part of the workout. 
this big guy came downstairs, restarted the video. Take as much breather as you need though to prepare for this next part. We have our ladder from five to one and one to five single arm swing, clean and press, and then the kneeling overhead step downs. Okay, and then we're gonna rest a lot and then we'll do the reverse order. So we'll start on our right arm for everything and I will ooh, I'll try to talk through it. This was so exhausting when I did it, but I will talk through it as much as I can. Might be simple cues. Practice the moves beforehand, and then we will get started. Five, swing, clean, and press with the right arm. So swing, clean, press. Ignore my dogs, they are fight, playing, play fighting. 25 to 30 pounds, I'm gonna use my 30 pound. That's what I did last time, hopefully I make it. <laughs> Guys, you're being very distracted. Okay, fifth one, swing, clean, press, keep it overhead. Right knee down, left knee down, right foot up, left foot up. Now we switch sides. Left arm swing, clean, press. Swing, clean, press. Fun fact, when dogs are sneezing while fighting, it means that they're playing. Well, that didn't sound playful, but if they're sneezing, it means I'm not actually hurting you. Okay, four, swing, clean, press, keep it overhead, left knee down, right knee down, left foot up, right foot up. Switch to the other side. We have four, right arm swing, clean, press, swing, clean, press, two more. Get your head in the zone. Keep it overhead. Two kneeling step downs with the overhead hold. Second one. Switch arms over to the left. Swing, clean, press four times. Last one, keep it overhead. Left knee down, right knee down, left foot up, right foot up, one more time. Okay, three and three of each, switch to the other side. Swing, clean, press. Kneel down, one, Two, three, switch to the other side. Swing, left arm, clean, press. So many distractions, keep going. Phone's ringing, dogs are about to get hit. Third one on this side. Keep it up overhead three times, kneeling step ups. Okay, just two clean and press on the other side. Right arm, swing, clean, press. Swing, clean, press. Four kneeling, this work gets so hard. You got this. One more. Okay, other side. Left arm, swing, clean, press, just twice. Keep it up overhead, four kneeling step ups with the overhead hold, that's one, two, three, four. Okay, other side, only one with the right arm, swing, Clean, press, keep it overhead. Five, kneeling step ups, okay? Hardest thing yet. 
So good. Control your reps. We got one more. Shoulders are dying. Good, switch to the other side. Left arm, one, swing, clean, press, keep it overhead, five kneeling, step ups. Finish out strong. We got two more reps. So good. Last one. Perfect. Give your arms a shake and breathe. We've got a couple of minutes of rest. And then we just have that one more time, but opposite order. And then we're done. Let's see who called me. Sorry. Doing so good. Isn't it hard to like push through that whole ladder without stopping? I thought it was. So this next time we're doing, starting with the five kneeling step down, step ups and only one clean and press and going the opposite direction. So just switch it up and maybe we'll do a left arm first this time. Take 10 more breaths. Pause the video if you need longer for sure. It's a tough sequence. You can definitely get in the zone though. Put on a good song. I was doing this outside a couple weeks ago and it was just like so fun, so hard. Listen to good music. Okay, get ready. I think we're, are we gonna do the kneeling? Let me see what we're doing. Can't decide if I wanna do the swings first. Let's just do the swings first, cause it's easier, but we'll do fewer reps, cause we're used to that pattern. Okay, left arm, one swing clean press, and then five kneeling. So we're getting the hardest part over with early, which is good. Okay, left arm, ready, go. Swing, clean, press, keep it overhead, five kneeling step ups. Good, stand back up, we'll switch arms. Come to the middle, right arm, one swing, clean, press, keep it up. Five kneeling shenanigans. Doing so good. Hardest part's over. Hopefully. Gotta endure through this. Okay, switch to the left arm. Two reps of the swing. Clean. Press. Swing. Clean. Press, keep it overhead, four kneeling step downs. Good, last one, stand up, switch arms, right side. Two, swing, clean, press, swing, clean, press, four kneeling step ups. Stay strong. Switching to the other side. Three and three. Woo! Left arm. Swing. Clean. Press. Just three of each. Best round. It's over before you know it. Last one. Left swing. Clean. Press. Three. Kneeling step ups. One. Two. Three. 
other arm, swing to the middle, switch sides, right, three and three, one, clean, press, two, swing, clean, last one, good, now, three kneeling, oh, doing good, getting tired, Okay, switch to the other side. Four, swing, clean, and press four times. Just one more here. Keep it overhead. Two kneeling, that's it. Stand up. Swing to the middle, switch sides. Four, swing, clean, and press on the right side. It's getting tough, we have one more round after this. Final push for real. Swing, clean, keep it overhead, two kneeling. We got our last round. Switch arms left side, we have five. Swing, clean, press, keep going. Get in the zone. This is three. Shoulders are dying, last one. Keep it overhead on this last one. Just one kneel. We stand up, swing to the middle, switch sides into the right arm. Five, swing, clean, press, keep going. So close. Just a few more reps. This is four. Last one. Keep it overhead on the last one. You got one, kneeling step up. Last rep, oh. and release. Oh. I don't have words. I love it and I hate it. It doesn't take that long, but it's just kind of more of a mental battle when you know you have that many reps left, but it switches it up just enough with going to the other side that you get a tiny bit of rest, but so hard. So good, you guys did awesome. Thank you for joining. Please share this video with others. Like it, subscribe, all that stuff. I can't breathe. Let me know what you wanna see more of. I'm open to suggestions. Also always curious if you like the full workout or the little snippet. So let me know and I'll see you next time.